now let's talk about the second normal form for a table to be in second normal form rule number 2 is it should have a single column primary key which means it cannot be a composite primary key it has to be a single column primary key. now here in this table small table you see this membership id it is a single column primary key each record is unique and each cell has only one value right so that means this table is in the second normal form now let's talk about foreign key what is foreign key foreign key there is another table which has membership id and movies rented so see this this membership id and this membership id are the same right so see this foreign key references the primary key of another table it helps you connect these two tables right if let's say you had these table then it's helpful to relate two tables right now you can establish relationship between the membership id or you know establish relationship between these two tables very important a foreign key can have a different name from its primary key okay now here we are taking ideal scenarios right but more often than not what happens is Uh, in a real scenario in business foreign key is always some different name than the primary key you have to do a lot of research even before you actually uh, go and use it okay to give you to put it into context let me show you this so this is one real sql query right uh, just look at the number of lines of code there is almost 606 lines of code okay this is how a real sql query will look like now if you look at it most of the time uh, your columns or membership uh, or your relationships are not the same for example this right let's say just for putting it into context uh, one column is called as order underscore underscore c okay in one table which is this table order line item sfdc now it is called as id in this table order csfdc okay so more often than not you will find this that it is not the same so be aware of it okay uh, lastly you unlike the primary key they do not have to be unique this can be repeating for example like this foreign keys can be null even though primary keys cannot okay now foreign key can be null here yeah we just talked about it right it will help you to connect these two tables right that's a relationship now why do we need a foreign key let's say for example uh, you're doing some data entry right and in table uh, b you enter a value called uh, 101 okay now first of all this 101 is not present as a primary key value in your first table so immediately the database will throw an error right saying that hey you're entering something uh, in the foreign key column which is 101 but 101 is not even available in the primary key column so this is called as referential integrity it helps us to maintain referential integrity right now if someone tries to uh, you know insert values like 101 the database will immediately throw an error cool okay lastly uh, i want to talk about transitive functional dependency so to put it in plain context right transitive functional dependency is suppose you change something in one uh, one column it will affect you know the other non key columns to change let's say for example here let's say this person robert phil is doing his doctorate uh, degree okay now what happens is once he finishes his doctorate this robert phil will be dr robert phil and this dr robert phil salutation will be dr and not mr so a change in the full name is causing a change in the salutation correct that means these two columns are related to each other they have dependency they have a transitive dependency okay that is what is transitive functional dependency now we learned what is primary key foreign key transitive functional dependency we will go and see what is third normal form Uh, for a table to be in third normal form the first rule is it has to be in the second normal form already second rule is it should not have transitive functional dependencies that means one column cannot be dependent on the value of the other column so what we do is we take this table 
instead of putting salutation we have a salutation id which represents what the salutation is at that stage right for example if robert phil is 1 that means he is still a mister if it changes to 4 that means it's a doctor now this table table 1 does not have any transitive functional dependencies it has single uh, value primary cell all records are unique each uh, uh, cell has unique single values so this is in the third normal form okay this table is in the third normal form now our little example that we took small example this cannot be further decomposed into any normal form okay it's already in its highest normalization form but for complex databases let's say where you are storing images you are storing videos you can achieve higher normal forms also now that's for you to go and how interested you are to learn you can go ahead and you know check out what is boys chord normal form what is fourth normal form fifth normal form so on and so forth we need to remove that column because it is dependent uh, is dependent on what that status of full name is at that point in time each column should be independent should not be dependent on each other right again so in a database you will see that there are some tables in the first normal form there are some tables in the third normal form second normal form or fourth normal form it will be a mixture it will not be that for example take this table 2 right it is not in the second normal form correct because there is no single value primary key it's still in the first normal form only but it is part of the database right so it will be a mixture of different uh, tables Thank <music> you.